well uh, hello everybody in uh, this very short video we are going to talk about how you can connect FDAC with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, FDAC is an application which I'm using for a while and it's uh, pretty accurate and very handy in the cockpit so I was exploring some options uh, for it to connect to my flight simulator so I could practice uh, with it and uh, get uh, those gauges uh, connected to my flight sim so I, I got a way around for it and the way it works is that uh, you go and search FS to FF in uh, Google and uh, download this utility so let's download it from the latest release and download the exe file right so what this utility basically does is that uh, uh, in in normal mode fdac gets is uh, its values from the sensors in your phone and uh, it calculates its um, heading and uh, its uh, radials and all the calculation is based on the values from the sensors of the phone but when you use this utility it's basically uh, tricks the fdac uh, by sending all the values from the flight simulator for the latitude longitude headings and ground speeds and all and then fdac basically works on uh, those values and computes uh, or, and and basically runs all the gauges through uh, those uh, values so it's pretty straightforward to connect it and uh, after it's downloaded you so simply open it up and you have to simply type in the IP address which FDAC you can find it out uh, through FDAC so you basically open up your FDAC and uh, when the FDAC is opened up you can see that it's already says it's receiving data from my X plane but you can find out your IP from here so as you can see it says take note of this device IP address which is 192.168.10.5 so I basically wrote the exact same thing here right and now when I go into my flight sim and I if I am flying so now my uh, heading and the ground speeds and everything is uh, driven through my flight simulator so as you as you will see in a moment when it, it loads up Karachi Tower Cessna Alpha Papa Bravo Mike Quebec ready for departing straight out at runway 25 left So as you can see that when I change my heading, FDAC is responding, uh, responding appropriately to the heading which the simulator is flying on. So it is basically not receiving values from my phone sensor now but from the flight simulator. As you can see if I change my heading, FDAC is responding. And I've tuned uh, the Garo NDB, so I need to fly on this heading to reach Garo in 25 minutes, and that is about 25 nautical miles from here. You can also see the readings uh, for, for, for the VOR, which is connected to the Karachi uh, VOR DME, and it's showing me that I am 0.7 nautical mile now from the VOR, and I am on the radial 210 so you can practice uh, on FDAC by using this utility on your flight simulator and it comes in uh, pretty handy so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it uh, helps you out